Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Override 3D node. So we're going to jump into Fusion where we've got a little scene set up. And uh, we've got three shapes. Spotlight, Ambient Light, Camera, Merge, 3D Render. And if we wanted to go into our shape nodes and change some of this information, say the visibility, the lighting, the mat, the blend mode, normals, we could do that. And if we had to change for each one, we'd have to go to each one and change those for each one. There is, however, an override 3D node, which will allow us to do it for all three nodes at once. So before we bring that in, let's go ahead and bring in a new 3D merge. And we're going to input our shapes into this 3D merge. So now we have all those shapes merged back in and let's hit shift space and type override and bring in an override 3D node. And we're going to go ahead and connect that after our merge 3D with all of our shapes. Now, mind you on this, we do have a spotlight connected. So some of these may change that spotlight just to be safe. What I like to do is I like to disconnect anything that I, uh, don't want within there and let's go ahead and reset our spotlight let's get it back in our scene i'm going to go to camera top zoom out and bring our spotlight back over our objects there we go Let's go back to our render node. So within our override, and let me reduce these so they all fit. You can see we have all the same controls that we do on our 3D shapes and many other 3D nodes. So we can come into our override and we can go up and we can uh, say do wireframe and change them all to wireframes visibility we can uncheck our visibility or uncheck our cameras and the way these are working is it's telling us to use that node so when it says do visible it's saying yes use the visibility portion of the override and whether it's visible or not so you can see if I uncheck that that option is no longer there and we can still go into our individual nodes and go to their options within the controls. And if I go to this, it's going to override that setting. So let's go ahead and change that back. So that's why it's called override. It's going to override any settings that are above it or before the input under those. Let's go ahead and change these back to visible. We can change our visibility. We can change our call front and back faces and we can change our suppress auxiliary channels. We can change our lighting, whether it's a mat, we can change our normals. We can change our object ID, our material ID our blend mode and we can exclude specific objects. So this comes in handy if you have a, an extremely large scene and you may need to make mass changes. Additionally, we do have some other nodes that don't have these options right here. So for instance, the 3d text or the text 3d node, which we haven't gone over yet. If we look, there's no control options for like visibility and wireframe or anything else like the other shape nodes. So if you need to make any of those changes to like the text node, we'll just use a override 3D node so we can change our visibility of our 3D text. Same with when we get back into doing particles under the 3D, our particle systems themselves do not have these options for visibility, lighting, matte, blend mode, normals, or object ID. 
and that's where we would use this override 3D to assign those if we needed to. So that is the override 3D node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.